Good afternoon. Here's the national news from our studio, BGR TV, Babagba Gede Imo TV. I am yours faithfully, Mori Revila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the national news. 2023, I have given best to Nigerians, nothing else to do. Buhari, Nigerians don't want successor from you, PDP to Buhari. Suspected filler ex men sets on door community ablaze kill three persons. Panic as 1,000 head of cattle invade Oshobo. Or Romani, Lagos chief Corona fixes January 15th for inquest. As well, on Sylvester Aramoni's issue, Lagos lists conditions to reopen Dowen College, reviews boarding schools. Now, the news in details. President Mohamed Buhari has said he, that he does not expect Nigerians to appreciate him when he leaves office. President Buhari was elected into office in 2015 with a landslide victory over incumbent President Goodluck Jonathan. Since his administration took over in 2015, the Nigerian economy has been unstable, looking at it from the lens of experts, with prices of goods and services skyrocketing on a daily basis. But Buhari said Nigerians would come to realize he has done his best for them when he leaves Asurok in the next 17 months. Buhari said that he has seen it all as a governor, a minister, and a two-time president, and has left behind structures that the citizens would reflect on. Speaking on his eagerness to hand over power, in an interview aired on Nigerian television authority NTA on Thursday, Buhari said, yes, because look, as you know, I have been a governor. I've been a minister and I've been my second time as president. So I've gone through the system and really, what else can I do with this country? I have given my best and I hope after I leave, Nigerians will reflect and at least not show appreciation. I'm not expecting any appreciation, but what I'm expecting is for Nigerians to say, yes, this man has done his best. This is the most I'm expecting from Nigerians, but it is not a joke, I'm telling you. The People's Democratic Party has said that Nigerians will firmly resist any candidate presented by the President. Major General Muhammad Buhari retired and the All Progressive Congress in the 2023 presidential election. This is according to a statement signed on Thursday by the party's National Publicity Secretary, Debo or Lord Buhari. Title just go, Nigerians don't want a successor from you, PDP tells Buhari. The PDP also berated the President for dwelling on false figures and bogus performance claims in his channel television interview on Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. The opposition party said the false figures given by the president only reinforces the fact that no one in the APC is immune to lying. Such false claims fly in the face of hard facts as the record with the president must have clearly shown that when the PDP took office on May 29, 1999, crude oil sold at $16.27 per barrel and about $80.42 and $63.28 by November and December 2014, respectively. Under President Buhari and the APC, the oil price has never fallen as low as $16 per barrel as recorded under the PDP, but started at $37 to $39.44 per barrel in 2016 and has continued to over between $60 to $70 per barrel to date, the statement said. No fewer than three persons were reportedly shot dead by suspected Fulani headsmen who invaded Molege village in Osei council area of Ondo state. Several houses were reportedly raised along Nerila, near Arimogija by the rampaging elders who were hyped by that the villagers prevented their cows from feeding on the farmlands. They reportedly mobilized and set the villages and the farms on fire. The villages took to their ears while their properties were destroyed by the X-Men. Reacting to the incident in the third statement, the state commander Amotekum, Chief Adelaye Adetuji, said that while on a routine patrol today at Molige in Oselle, local government area of Ondo State, our men were informed that some nearby villages in Molige have been taken over by X-Men while they burnt down some people's properties. We moved in with three patrol vehicles and took control of the situation in the village. On their way back, some men suspected to be ex-men suddenly opened fire on our men 
In an unprovoked attack, because a Mateko does not want to start shooting people, we're trying to find out who they are as an adequate investigation is ongoing. We we'll hope the people of the community to come back to their homes as peace as we return back to the village. Adetuji was I ever silenced on the casualties recorded during the forceful invasion of the village by the bandits. So there were palp palpable tension among residents in Oshogo as heads of cattle numbering about 1,000 freely moved on roads in the state capital late on Thursday. The cattle were led by 12 eight men who claimed to be moving through the state capital to a neighboring town. On sighting the cattle on the road alongside Adesuji Adirami Way, motorists and shop owners fled and abandoned their cars on the road. It, however, took the intervention of operative of our show security network agency, code named Amotekun, to get people to remain calm and force the elders to direct the cattle away from the major routes of, out of the state. Our show Amotekun field commandant Amitolu Chitu, while speaking with newsmen on Thursday, said the headers claimed to be passing through bush paths to villages in Elisha to access water. Initially, they wanted to resist instructions to lead the cattle to identify Ruth out of the state, but they later succumbed to our instruction. The team escorted the cattle and the headers to the bordering of a number of state between and before it this map and allowed them to move away, he said. Lagos State Chief Corona Justice Moji Soladada has fixed January 15, 2022, for the commencement of inquest into the cause of death of Sylvester Oromoni, a 12 year old student of Durham College, Lekki, Lagos. It will be recalled that Lagos Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, Ms. Adetutu, or Shinuti, has absolved five students and five staff of the College of Complicity in the death of Oromoni. Dada, in a letter through the Corona of Equa Districts, Mikhail Kadiri dated January 4th title request for inquest into the tragic death of Sylvester Romani, killed at Durham College, Lekki, Lagos. Reminded the lawyer to file and serve the positions of all witnesses intended to call at the inquest and for the list of persons needed to be summoned by the court. The letter read in part, I have the directive of the Chief Coroner Lagos State, Justice M. A. Dada, to remind you that the inquest into the death of Sylvester Romani will commence on Saturday, January 15, 2022, at the Magistrate Court No. 4, a Fed District, at a 9 a.m. prompt. The area shall be in open court. You are further reminded to file and serve the depositions of all witnesses you intend to call at the inquest and forward a list of persons whom, in your opinion, need to be summoned by the court. Meanwhile, Falano has described a recent report issued by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions of Lagos State, dated January 4th, 2022, as hasty. The report issued of the Office of DPP of Lagos State, which has purportedly cleared five students and five employees of the College of any complicity in the death of Sylvester Oromoni Jr., has not laid the allegations surrounding the gruesome murder of Sylvester Oromoni to rest. Lagos State Government has directed the management of Durban College, Lekki, to make corrections after the death of Sylvester Oromoni. Commissioner for Education, Fola Shade Adefi Sayo, said, identified lapses in administration discovered during inspection and investigation must be fixed. The ministry position on Thursday follows the advice of the Department of Public Prosecution, DPP, which says Oromoni's death could not be linked to bullying. On the faith of Durban College students, as second time begins, Adif Isayah said the government was reviewing the operational guidelines of boarding schools and the requirement for establishment. In a statement, the commissioner announced that the ministry would begin the revalidation of all existing boarding school facilities after the midterm holidays. She disclosed that monitoring and inspection of schools were being overhauled to improve efficiency. Adif Isayah confirmed that during management, had been mandated to work on school governance gaps as well as other regulatory issues. That was the national news from our studio. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. 2023, I have given best to Nigerians nothing to do. Buhari, Nigerians don't want successor from you, PDP, to Buhari as well. 
We also brought to you suspected Fulani eight men set on door community and pledged three kill, kill three persons. Panic as 1,000 of cattle invade Oshogo. And we also brought to you on Romani, Lagos chief Corona fixes January 15th for inquest. And lastly, still on Romani, Sylvester Romani, Lagos list conditions to reopen the world college, reviews boarding schools. Thank you for watching. You can link up on YouTube channel, which is ours, Baba Gede Imo TV. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell for updates on Facebook? Bagede Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page on Instagram. Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of your goods and services and coverage of events and function, the phone number streaming on your screen is the direct line to the market department. Do not hesitate to do so. Thank God it's Friday. God bless all Muslim brothers and sisters all out there. May the year continue to be efficient beyond and now. I am your faithfully. More we will reveal a lot.